Okay, here's the fourth uh, tutorial for using the model. Uh, this is for uh, advanced users, uh, researchers, uh, very curious beekeepers, those in selective breeding uh, programs. Um, and uh, what I'm going to uh, ask for is, is for people to send me uh, with uh, Excel spreadsheets uh, when they have come up with new colony settings. So we're going to put those in there. But also any kind of ideas. I, I want everybody to work on this uh, together. And I'm happy to work with other researchers to improve this model. So let's get going and taking a, a look at it. OK, my intention is for this model to be a kind of open source. Um, for others to help with this. So uh, let's get into some advanced stuff uh, now. Um, and this would be for uh, researchers or those who are interested in, uh, in um, breeding for mite resistance, other things. If we look across uh, here, what I've done, um, let me drag over here. These are all the, uh, the calculations uh, and other places where I'll put in comments. So um, the things in green, these are all, let's go, Let's go back here to the beginning here. Anything in green is a value that was inputted uh, uh, by the user. And so these would be inputted values by the user. And then uh, what the model does, it does calculations. And then uh, this is calculations for the mite uh, reproductive rate in the drone brood, uh, for the worker brood. This is for um, your net uh, R value. And then we start to look at um, your percentage of mated mites, your uh, reduction for mites that are getting old, uh, your net gain for reproduction, then your natural mortality, uh, immigration mites coming in, uh, mites emigrating out on other bees, drifting uh, out of the colony, crash indicators. But what you can do here is above each one of these calculations, if it says comment, you could click on this and it will tell you, oops, what about this calculation right here, and then we comment, comment right here. Now, the, the model that I'm um, putting out here, uh, I, I've locked most of the cells because to avoid mistakes, it's really easy to get off and click on the wrong cell. If anybody wants to work with this, I will send you a, a version uh, or, or a password to un unlock these, uh, these cells so you can work on it. Um, what you can do here is uh, change any of these R values here. So by, what you do is you want to customize it. You just type the word custom right here. Now watch, when I click enter, watch the little red uh, uh, V change. So I just click enter. And what it does now, it says custom values apply. So now we've customized uh, this entirely. So let's take a look at up here at this. We'll, we'll customize something. We'll watch the, uh, the row amount. Let's just say that instead of the uh, the, each founder is having an average of 1.5 female uh, uh, or daughters. Let's say she, they only have um, 0.8 daughters instead. Wow, mites are hardly even a problem right there. So we'll go, we'll go back. Let's just uh, go up here so I can go back. Okay, what if, um, and what I had to do recently, I did a major change in the model. I was only using a 70% figure for uh, successfully mated daughters. But when I did the change and, and how I did my calculations, it didn't work out uh, right to match my field values uh, here. So I it raised that to 80% mating. I, I'm not happy with this. This really should be probably around 70%. And so we'll try to figure this out. But let's just say that that um, we dropped down to, so look at the R value about 0 0.020. If we drop this to a 70% uh, success emitted, that drops that R value down to 0 0.016. And notice the mites don't build up anywhere near as much to that. So it allows, I'll go back to, uh, go back here. And the same with the, 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 the drone cells. Um, there's, uh, and then there's the, the uh, other factors here. All of these can be tweaked. Parameters down here. Oh, I'm missing one right there. These parameters uh, down here can be used for sensitivity testing. So by changing the uh, number of daughters or uh, in the worker brood or in the drone brood or the, uh, the time period that um, um, uh, the uh, additions in the uh, phoretic period of the mites, this is something that Jeff Harris and, and Harbo looked at. You can always look at the comment right here and tell, tell, tell where I got this uh, idea. Um, you can vary these and look at sensitivity and see what traits uh, for resistance uh, the bees could use and, and, and what the expected result of that would be. I'm finding this very uh, interesting in looking at the uh, model. 
anyway, um, there's there's lots of stuff to look at here, and uh, uh, we can improve this model if we all uh, work together on this. Okay, that's it for the tutorials. Um, boy, this uh, it's been quite an experience developing this model, and uh, um, I hope it's uh, found to be of use to beekeepers and to researchers. Please let me know um, how I can improve the model, or how you'd like to help me uh, improve it, and uh, uh, how I can make it more user-friendly. Thank you.